Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're going to be diving into the 2017 AP Physics 1 free response questions. Um, so let's just get right into it. Okay, so it looks like a circuit question. In the three circuits shown above, the batteries are all identical. The light bulbs are all identical. In circuit one, a single light bulb is connected to the battery. In circuits two and three, two light bulbs are connected to the battery in different ways as shown. The light bulbs are labeled A through E. Rank the magnitudes of the potential difference across the light bulbs A, B, C, and D from largest to smallish. If any bulb bulbs have the same potential difference across them, state them explicitly. Okay, so whatever, let's say this is some voltage V, this light bulb sees the voltage V. Um, this one's easier to tell because if the battery is V, these are parallel connections. The voltage between here and here is V. So these both see V also. So A, D, and E are all equal. B and C, because they're series, it's this across this has the voltage V, which means this one's really V over two. It's sort of, it, but it's less than V is all, all that matters. The drop across the specific resistors. So it's really um, A, D, uh, sorry, A equal to D equal to E, which is greater than B is equal to C. Okay. So um, A, D, and E all see the full battery voltage. B and C are in series and see a, a lower voltage drop. And the reason they're equal is because um, this is really a resistor. It's because if the whole drop from here to here is V, then this is V over two because they're the same resistance. So that's why, so the voltage across them is the same because the current across them has to be the same, right? That's how series work is the current is equal across between the two resistors. The batteries all start with identical amount of usable energy and all connected to the light bulbs in the circuits at the same time. In which circuit will the battery run out of usable energy first? Okay, so say um, this guy has uh, resistance R. Let's say each each light bulb has resistance R. Okay, and we 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 want to look at the, what the current is coming out of the battery. The large because they have the same voltage, the more current that comes out of the battery, the more power it is, and hence will run out of energy, right? Because if I'm delivering more power, then given the same energy, that 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 energy will disappear faster. So the current through because they're all the same voltage, all that really matters for the power is how much current they are. The current for this guy is V over R. Um, because these two these two are in series, the current here is V over 2R. And because these are in parallel, the current here is uh, V over R over 2, which is 2 times V over R. Okay. Why is these R over 2? Because two resistors in parallel that are the same. I use my parallel, which is 1 over R equivalent, is equal to 1 over R plus 1 over R. That's equal to 2 over R. So that means when I flip it, R equivalent is equal to R over 2. So circuit 3 has the highest current. It's 2V over R. This is really 1 half V over And this is V over R. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. I probably won't be able to edit that out because I just want to do this in one shot. So circuit 3 will, will use up the energy first. Circuit 2 will use the energy last. Um, Circuit three has the lowest equivalent resistance. Circuit two has parallel resistors. Circuit two has the highest. I, I really would write this out better if I were actually taking the test. I mean, I'm just not that eloquent on the fly. I'd have to think about how I would want to write it out and frame it, you know, like I'm better at the math part and then I got to think about how it has the highest equivalent resistance, series resistors. Um, 
higher R implies uh, lower I, which implies lower power. So that, that, that would be enough to summarize it. Okay, let's look at the scoring guidelines for the first question here. That one was pretty straightforward. Usually the ENM questions are like not super difficult on uh, the circuit questions because you don't really cover a lot of um, circuit stuff in physics one. But um, let's see, A, D, E is greater than B equals C. Okay, and then an explanation, the same current, blah, blah, blah. I don't know, you, there's, there's lots of explanations you can put in there. You can read through them and see. Correct answer, circuit three runs out first, circuit two runs out last. Yada, yada, I mean, there's sort of explaining all of that. And uh, yeah, that's, I think that was it, right? Uh, yeah, so hope you enjoyed that. Um, Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe, and I will see you uh, when we do the next free response question. Thanks.